morning guys and welcome to a vlog it is monday morning right now i'm just sat on the floor um padlock um just because i want to show you something i've got half wet hair and also red under my eyes which you can see and it's kind of swollen um i've been using retinol and i'm pretty sure this is what's I know like retinol can make your skin react funny sometimes and I keep getting this under my eyes and I think it's that's because it's just really sensitive skin there and it sort of goes down through the day with hope anyway um so I'm just not putting any makeup on there for now so excuse my red eyes um <clears throat> what's gonna say yeah it's Monday morning got a busy week with work this week I'm sat in front of the radiator, which does still unfortunately have a necklace behind it. I've spoken to my landlady, I've told her, and she's going to try and find somebody who can come and help me take the neck, the radiator off the walls and get the necklace. I was saying to her, like, this is really now a life or death situation. It's gotten that serious. There's a lot of people waiting on this necklace and we need to pull out all the stops. And she's really nice, my landlady, so she's going to try and find somebody that can come and do that for us. Us, I'm saying us as a collective. Um, anyway, I was just getting ready for the morning and fussing over some rings and I thought I'd fuss over them with you. So basically I've got a few new rings that I want to incorporate into my ring hands. Normally I wear my Astley Clark, like um, it's called the flash ring, it's like a zigzag ring on this finger but I've taken it off. And normally I wear my Rogue Copenhagen signet ring on here, which I've put underneath the ring that I always wear on this hand, but I'm not sure about how it looks really. I can't make my mind up. From afar I like it, from up close I'm not so sure. If it's gonna stay there, I need to resize it because it's really being held on by this one and it does spin fully round. But I had this thing with really big knuckles and then really skinny fingers here. So like all of my rings spin round fully because they've got to be a certain size to get over my knuckles. Anyway, the rings that I've got are new, that I knew that made me want to do this. I'm just gonna shuffle in closer. I feel a bit cautious talking about jewelry in this radiator. Is this little guy from, am I gonna show you this now? That was the most awkward way I've ever done that, anything. This little guy, come on, yes. Which is also from Rogue Copenhagen, which I wanna wear on my pinky, but it's too big for that. Okay, it's kinda of staying on there, but I think it's cause I've got hot hands. So I wanna wear that on there. And then mum also found at home this signet ring, which is from Luigi. And it's got his family crest on it, if it's focusing, there we go. And I really wanna wear that on this finger, but I need to get this resized and I don't think this would be a ring that I wear every single day because it's big and black. But then I do really like it, but it is just pretty big. And then I also got sent this one from a brand called Daphine. Is it called Daphine? Yeah, which is so nice. And I know she, like a lot of people wear two of them together and they look so good stacked up. So I don't know where to put that. I'm not going to wear that one on there. I think this one might be one that I wear like on a night out or something. But yeah, this, this is what I've been thinking about this morning. What to sort of this, I think this is going to be too much bling on there. Yeah, it's nice having an empty ring, an empty finger between it. Anyway, I'm just going to go get them both resized to fit each of those fingers because I definitely would wear that on my middle and this on my pinky and then I can mix and match accordingly. But this signet ring from Luigi is so cool. It's just so big, like, so big and heavy. I like it though. I really hope my eyes go down. Let me show you up close. I think it actually looks a bit, they look kind of shiny because it looks so much moisturizer underneath them. They do look a bit swollen, but not like the time that my face swelled up for shit proper, for real. Hey guys, a bit later on now. I think my eyes are looking a little bit better, I think. Um, I feel super under the weather today. And, oh, stop whinging. Um, I've just got picked up from the post office this necklace, which is from Lindsay's collaboration with Roxanne first. And I'll leave a link for it in the description box. So it's a gold chain with three tiny floating diamonds on, and it's in the same collaboration as this earring that I've got here. I absolutely love it. I'm literally just never gonna take it off. I'm gonna wear it every single day and sleep in it and everything like that, because it's so dainty and light, you could easily sleep in it. Um, I've got lots of homeware updates, which is exciting. I'm currently working from the new dining table just because my internet, I've got like those booster things, you know, to make your Wi-Fi go longer. And they're kind of not working. So everything in my office is taking twice as long as it needed to because the internet was slow. So I thought I'd cut my losses for today and come in here. Um, I've got these amazing Amaryllis, are they Amaryllis? Correct me if I'm wrong, I think they're Amaryllis from this um, extortionately priced flower shop in Notting Hill. If you live in Notting Hill or have been to Notting Hill, you probably know the one I mean. 
it's ridiculous but they do always have beautiful flowers and let me show you this properly it looks so 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 nice i'm obsessed with the dining table obsessed i did think i was going to get let me spin the camera around proper most of the time there was no cushion on the on the chairs but these chairs are so uncomfortable they're literally humanly impossible to sit on without a cushion on um I was thinking I was going to get different chairs. I think I said this already, but now I'm definitely not in a rush to do that because I absolutely love how they look. The main thing I do want to get, which I think I'm going to go look in Conran's shop, maybe even tomorrow actually, we, we guys, we go, go and do that and I'll film it, is a really big ceramic dish to sit this on of some sort. Um, I am increasingly loving how the painting looks just on its own. So I, oh, I nearly fell over. I still think I need something in this corner, maybe a plant or something. Um, but the other new bits have all been from French Connection Home, who kindly sent me absolutely loads of stuff, which is amazing. So they sent me this poof thing, which I really, really love because the colours match the cushions and this perfectly. I'm not sure where to put it though. It was and aesthetically, I really like it, but it was also a very practical choice because when people come round, I tend to make people sit on the floor and eat a takeaway. And I oddly spend a lot of time sat on the floor sometimes if I'm like working and making notes in front of the TV, then I use the coffee table as a table. Um, you use it for its function, basically. So that thought practically it was a really good thing. I'm not sure on where to put it. I actually do quite like it there because it's nice to have something in front of the windows without obstructing the windows. But I think I preferred the simplicity of just having the window fully open. So I think I'm about to have a rejig of this whole room and I want you guys to tell me which is your favourite. So this is option one, the way we've got it now. So option one involves that being there. The other new thing they sent was this chair here, which is like a leather safari style chair. It's so nice, it's really nice and wide. I just put this over it to lift up the brown a little bit just because of how much wood is in that corner. They sent me this lamp behind here. I currently have an absolute... Um, she's just hiding there. I currently have far too many lamps. So that's just hiding there for the time being until I decide where to put that. And this has reminded me I need to go and get some light bulbs. Um, so yeah, that's that's not going to live there permanently. I'm just unsure of where to put it. And following your guys' advice, I moved this unit back to here. And it is looking so much better. So many of you commented saying it was very linear along here. And it's looking a lot better now. Um, so yeah, the chair was the other thing. So this is also part of option one. To have a, just a little lamp set up here, move the plant which needs watering, as always, um, and yeah. So then, let me try and stand in this corner. So I don't know if you'll be able to see the whole thing. Okay, this is option one. We're going to rejig and have a look for option two. Still need to decide what to put on the wall there. I don't know whether to just get a massive mirror of some sort or artwork. I think a mirror, personally. But do let me know what you think as well. They also sent me some lovely kitchen wary bits. Um, let's go into the kitchen. They sent me this picture. It's in a jug, not a photograph. This glass one. And then this bowl, which is great for... Guys, I still love the bin. I just want you to know. I know you sometimes ask for an update. Obsessed. Best thing. Best 130 quid I've ever spent. I'm obsessed with it. Um, and also this bowl that they sent, which is good for putting crisps in which is as far as my cooking goes when people come round and most of the time they just have it in a normal cereal bowl so I thought that makes me look more like the hostess with the most test even though it's all a lie and I'm not but yeah the bin I love you love you gave me a pocket full of leaves then ran started a car her face was all red and lazy well me I was just there, my teacup in hand, all hazy And she sped off in a hot pink jeep Down three mile hill, I can hear her screaming Like la, la da di da, la da di da
chair, does it make more sense having the chair under a lamp or is this too much like a chair line up? Did we prefer chair where it was and the lamp line up? I think I preferred it how it was. Still haven't count accounted for this. But now that that's not there, I was thinking actually it didn't kind of ruin the flow of the place having it there. Let me put it back there for a second so you guys can see. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I'm so struggling with this. Mum kept saying that she thought I should have a chair here in this corner, but this corner, as you can already see, I need to move this, but does fill up with um, cardboard boxes for recycling and there's like, I get so many parcels. I'd love the chair there, but practically, I'm just gonna put the chair there and see what it looks like, because now I need to know. But practically, I don't really think it's an option because that corner, unfortunately, does just spend a lot of time filled with cardboard boxes. Chair looks stupid there. Okay, that's all that out. I'm glad. I've gone back to the original setup. I'm gonna FaceTime Anne for her opinion on things. God, I look rough. Right, she probably won't answer. Hello. Oh. oh, hello. 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 I'm hello. vlogging. Oh, hi, Paul. Just a quick one then. Hi. 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 <laughs> um, just a quick one. I yes. just wanted to show you, I've got some new bits that came from French Connection. And one of them's like a floor poof thing, which practically I want to use because I often make people eat on the floor. But I don't know whether where it is works because it's like in front of the window. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you. Wait, okay. one second, let me just flip the camera. Okay. Right, so this chair came. I noticed you were sat in that, that's nice. Yeah, when was I sat in that? Oh, in a video. Yeah, for your testing basics. Yeah. What the hell she sat in? Yeah, it's that for French connection. Yeah, I saw you so I moved that there, there, and then I've got this lamp set up here, which I don't want to keep, and I want to get a new pot, I think, for the plant. Yeah, it needs a bigger pot. Just, and yeah. still something for the wall. But anyway, this is the floor poof thing. Let me oh, just. Right, okay. Let me back up. So there's nowhere else it can go, but I feel like it interferes with the window no, too no, much. I don't like it there, I must admit. No. Uh, what about where the lamp I tried it where the lamps was just now, it looks really weird. What about, you know, the chair? What if the chair went in the corner? I tried the here. Boxes? Yeah. I tried that and it also looked weird and floaty. The chair did? Yeah. I know because I want, I like the colour of this because the colour matches the up here. That's a very matching corner. Well, your only other thing is you move the chairs to the other side of the table and then it sits in the window space on it, you know, where it floats in the window space and move where the chair, those two chairs are to come the other side. Interesting thought. Thank you. Right, I'll have to give that a go. But if not, I don't know what to do with it because I really like it, but just well, not I there. Put that chair somewhere else and it, wherever that other chair will go it won't you know or it goes in the corner where the light is at the minute and you move the light but it just looks really weird there yeah i can imagine I just it's very it. dumb. it's not a, it's not a fixed poof is it no you know I mean? yeah mm. yeah um. i try it the other where that other chair is at the minute and see what it looks like failing which my other suggestion oh yeah no i tried it there as well and it because oh, i kind of tried to took it behind the the Luigi cabinet, and it yeah. also looked a bit weird like that. Okay, well then that's my only other suggestion. Right, I'll give that a go, thank you. That's okay, when are your lamps coming? Not till a few more weeks, I don't think. Middle of December, they said. Oh, a couple of weeks then. Yeah, okay. a couple more oh, weeks. that's good. Alright, yeah. that looks oh. nice though. It all looks nice. I prefer the unit back where it is as well. Yeah, I do now, I just need to get a mirror. Yeah, just if anything, the um, 
TV unit moves to move over a bit, so that chair's got a bit of space around it. Yeah, okay. I'll try that. That looks nice, yeah. That looks nice, okay, yeah. Thank cool. you. All right, then. I'll speak to you later. Say bye to the bye. vlog. Bye, bye Paul. Bye. 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 <laughs> Paul's mum's business partner. He will not have understood what was going on then. Or particularly cared. I shouldn't have thought. Oh, right. Let's, oh, shine on. It's hard to break things. Let's try, let's try a suggestion. We'll just put these chairs here, which also would kind of split the room up in the way that I was thinking of splitting the room up with the sofa once the lamps arrived anyway, and I've gone that off that idea since, since we, we all last spoke. Right, we're back. Why is it so difficult? I don't. I do quite like the way it splits the room off, but then I just think there's too much space here. I mean, those chairs look amazing anywhere, but I think they, the whole point of me wanting them was to have amazing bay windows where they don't block the window. So you have furniture in front of it that you just still get to see through. And the same applies for them opening up a room like this. And they do look great there, but I think it's now too cluttered over there. And they need to come back over here and this fucking poof, which I love. Where can you go? Oh, Christ. Talk about first world problem over here. Suggestions on a postcard, please, guys. Unless I could, I can't fit it down there. And that's like blanket and cushion bill. Because of the pattern of it as well, it's not like I could, you know, I could put it here and prop it up. But I think it, I love the pattern is what I really liked and the colour. So it's a shame to not have it. I almost want it to just float around the coffee table, but I think everything looks a bit too uniform to make that look like it's not been deliberate. You know, it looks like it's just been left there as opposed to a deliberate decision. Mm. Oh, I might just have to stay in that corner for now. Damn it. I wonder if it would fit under the sofa. No, because I want it on the view. It's so funny setting up rooms because I have so much space in here and there are so many different options. But yet I'm struggling. I don't think I can go in the corner where the chair was either, where the rubbish goes. Hmm. Everything's where it was when I started this, so that's been a success, but that is just not right there. Oh, damn it. Hmm. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Hello, guys. It's still me. I just ate half a mince pie. No self-control. I thought my Mason's one. I'm not quite ready to do testing mince pies yet because it's only the 26th of November and I frankly shouldn't be eating them. But for the beginning of December, I'll be letting you know, and I have some strong opinions about those Portland Mason ones. Um, this is nice, this spot. Um, I thought last week, and in the last vlog that I did, I was like whinging loads about being really stressed, and you guys left me so many amazing comments, as always. But on the, um, in the same vein as how I was highlighting that I've been stressed today, I thought it would be nice for me to note that today everything has gone very smoothly and very to plan. Every parcel that's meant to arrive has arrived. A collection for another parcel was made at the time it was meant to be made. I haven't missed anything. I have only had a small hiccup with my Wi-Fi. But other than that, it's been a stress-free day and I felt very creative. I've put together a blog post from the trip to St. Kitts I did last week that I've been really pleased with. Edited the video and I'm really pleased with that as well. So I thought in the same vein that I, you whinge when things aren't going well or when you're feeling stressed, I should also comment on when things are going very, very well and it just feels nice today. So that's me acknowledging the good as well as the bad. And it's easy to not do that and focus on the bad, which we all are guilty of doing. I'm gonna watch something on YouTube. We're just new trainers, guys. Oh, I'm listening to Eddie's artist of music today. But let me just pause him momentarily. Um, watch that's loud. I ordered some new trainers. I'm really wanting some black trainers to wear with socks and things. And it, I didn't know the brand of these and spent a long time Googling online like um, pump trainers with gum soles and big eyelets. <laughs> Finally found them. They're by Nevesta. Um, and I ordered them off end. This is, uh, they got them in the Black Friday sales actually. They had 20% off, but you can order them from elsewhere as well. I'm so excited to wear them with socks and things and just a bit more of a wintry trainer. Um, yeah, really, really pleased with them. So 
I hope they fit because I felt like a bit unsure on the sizing and it says a 41 but they kind of look about right anyway I've got big thick socks on so I can't try them on just yet but I'm going to wear them today so I'll show you them on properly before I go out but I'm very excited about those indeed uh, yes being a bit makeup free again today guys just while my eyes <laughs> bless me my eyes feel a bit better. Um, I just went to the gym early this morning. So that's all done. And I am just was waiting for that parcel and do some work. And now that parcel's come, I'm going to make myself look a bit more presentable and go out. And I'm going to go to Covent Garden. No, I'm going to Hatton Garden, which is maybe near Covent Garden, actually. And get these, drop these two rings off to be resized. And then maybe we could do a trip to the Conrad shop as well. And then this evening, I'm going out for a work dinner thing. I'm feeling like really on top of my work at the moment, which is almost unheard of this year. I think this whole entire year I haven't really felt like that, which is really nice. I'm just enjoying being at home and working at home a lot, which is also a really nice feeling. So yes, I'm going to, um, I'm just gonna make a coffee and finish the blog post I was writing, and then I shall get ready to go out and no longer look quite so much like I've been dug up. Okay, I'm obsessed with these. They fit true size, I've got my normal size. I've just got the one with some Uniqlo socks. My rouge jeans, which I was rude about when I first got, but now really, really, really love. Um, sorry, the light's kind of bad in here. I've got on a Uniqlo cashmere jumper and under the stories cardigan, and then my Ray oversized jacket. I really like this outfit, actually, even though I look like a small boy. Maybe I'll change it for a blazer. Mm, there's a thought, but probably won't. Um, I'm just going to go to Hatton Garden now to get these rings resized, which I'm excited about. All dropped off, I'll be ready on Thursday to collect. It's raining and miserable, so I'm gonna rush back home. I was gonna have a mooch about or walk home, no chance. Just finished shooting, guys, I'm just on my way out. I've just put together an outfit I very much like. I'm gonna shoot in the bathroom so we can actually see for once. Really into this outfit, if I do say so myself. So I'm just nipping to Snappy Snaps, and I was gonna come home and get changed and go out for dinner tonight. However, I shall just go out for dinner in this. I have on my Nevesta trainers, weekday jeans, under the stories um, knit and under the stories blazer from last winter. I'm pretty sure they still do this. If not, they do a variation of it for sure. But I'm thinking they might even still do the blue one. And then just my Sophie Hume bolt bag, which I'm obsessed with. Um, and yeah, just really quite liked this outfit. I'm literally just going to Snappy Snaps to drop off the roll of film shot today. Shoot went really well, we shot in this um, shopping centre that's being knocked down. I th I've talked about this on my blog and now I can't think of, remember if I've talked about it in this blog as well. Anyway, there's a shopping centre being knocked down and I came across it the other day and it was pretty much empty. So I just dragged Tom there to shoot there and I actually dropped a film off because I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I don't know if I'm going to have time to wait for the developing. It should only take 20 minutes though so I might do- oh god, don't walk backwards and forth kids. It's a dangerous game. Good morning guys. Friday morning, just making my coffee and about to start scanning some film. I'm trying to like learn, I'll show you the software really quickly. I'm trying to learn the software. I mean like, I think I said before, I've just been doing it on auto all the time. I really need to get better at it and stop being lazy. So I'm up kind of early today. I've been up since six, this is now five past seven. There's a screw on the floor, which is really a recipe for disaster. Um, so I'm going to try and get to grips with this scanning a bit more. So it looks like this when you load it on and as you can see there's individual frames and you're meant to mess with the colours. But I don't know how to zoom in basic things and then be able to see the colours on them more. Aha! There we go. That's all I needed to do. Click that button. Uh, and then I need to change the colours somewhere. Somewhere. Oh my god, this is so complicated. And I'm, I'm such an impatient person that like I'm just so much happier looking at this and just clicking around and seeing what happens rather than watching a tutorial because I feel like I'm being more productive. Saturation. What's up that? No, let's make that go down. Contrast. In theory, if you get good at this, you don't really and have to edit much after because you've kind of nailed the colours here. I mean, in theory, really being the key to what I just said. Oh, balls. This is complicated. 
Ooh, that makes it like bluer or pinker. Ooh, I'm gonna go get my coffee and get my tea stuck into this. Okay guys, I'm just heading out for some lunch and I really like my outfit and I've actually got a few new wintry bits of clothes I'm gonna show you when we get back. It might be a bit dark, but I'm hoping we can make it work with just lots of lights on since we have about 10 minutes of daylight at the moment, it feels like. Anyway, I've got on these new boots which just arrived from Sandro. They sent me quite a bit of stuff, which is what I wanna show you. They're so flipping cool and so comfortable, I love them. My toe hem leggings, Ray long cashmere jumper, got it back from Amsterdam, guys. And then my Ray jacket, which I'm still obsessed with. I'm just taking my Ray bands because it's actually quite sunshiny today after I've just complained about the daylight. I like this look. I just got back in and I have the rings that I dropped off earlier in this week. Which are just focusing beautifully. One second. There we go. Have the rings looking absolutely amazing. And then the Row Copenhagen one, just on my pinky finger. I'm so, so, so happy with them. They just fit perfect. This one's going to take some getting used to. I'm still not sure that I'm going to wear it every single day. Just because it is like chunky and big. But I don't know. I feel like I might get used to it. I'm definitely going to wear it tonight. Um, Lindsay and I are going out to a pirate ship to be pirates. And find some treasure and drink some rum. As you do. So guys, I know I said that I was going to show you um, some clothes and stuff the rest of the clothes but I've just edited this whole vlog together and we're on 25 minutes already so I just think I'll actually film a haul maybe for Wednesday there'll be ones like I've been doing recently where it's all gifted stuff but in the past you guys have said you haven't minded that or the Nevesta trainers oh I can see a cat looking out the window at me from a house over the road I don't think you'll be able to see it in the if I show you with the camera what a treat um that's completely throwing me off oh yeah so yeah, I'm not going to do it because it's going to end up being like a 45 minute vlog or something, which I just think is a bit too long. So I think I'll film the whole separately completely and have that live on Wednesday for you guys instead. So I hope you don't mind. I'll show you the Sandro bits. I've got some other bits that Andal the Story sent me. Um, and there might be other new things between now and then. You just never know in the life of a fashion blogger. It's really a daily surprise, which is very lovely. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I've just edited it together and it feels quite nice. A good balance of whinging and positivity, which we must always strive for. Um, and I'm just being distracted by that cat still. So yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on Wednesday in a haul video. And I shall hope I will be looking a little more ravishing than I do right now. <laughs>